Good morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alexander Morose, and today I will be your instructor for Polygon Subdivision 101 in 3ds Max Studio. As well as we are going to discuss today uh, Material Texturing 101 in 3ds Max and Basic Lighting 101. Uh, just a little bit uh, background information about myself. I am a web developer, application developer, photographer, uh, graphic designer, 3D artist, and hardware enthusiast. So as you can see, uh, I'm, today I'm using the Autodesk 3D Max Studio 2010. And for those who are curious, will this tutorial uh, work on uh, later, newer versions or uh, older versions? Yes, it will. Uh, today I will discuss the basics um, of 3D Max and as I remember it, it's from version 5.0 uh, since 2002 and those elements and those strategies and methods that will be discussed by me today will apply in 3D Max 5.0, 5.5, 6.0, 7.0, 8.0, 2009, 2010 and 2011 and newer versions so as you can see my 3d max studio experience are quite uh, big and uh, since 2001 and I started with 5.0 version basically 4.4.5 uh, but I didn't uh, use 4.5 a lot I then jump jumping to the 5.0 but anyways and uh, don't worry and um, where you can get the 3D Max Studio? You can get the trial 3D Max Studio uh, for 30 days for free. All what you gotta do, uh, just go ahead and search the Google 3D Max and um, trial, and uh, go ahead and download your free trial for 30 days. You can try it for 30 days, and then you need to uninstall it. So you can apply this tutorial if you don't own the license to the software so basically you can sharp your skills as well alright well today we will be building a memory stick like so and this video tutorial if you're watching over the YouTube will be split it into multiple parts so please watch them all and rate them all as well so we're going to build this memory and I was on the Dell website and I decided look I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to build your own memory like so and make it uh, like any screenshots because it's going to be a 3D object you can make any screenshots that you like and you can put in any environment and you're gonna learn that and as well as bonus uh, tutorial will be how to build a processor a CPU um, processor um, so central processor unit the little cheap and um, we're gonna go ahead and discuss this after the memory tutorial as well so we're gonna go ahead and cover uh, basic um, 3d modeling using subdivision polygon subdivision um, by subdividing the polygons then we're gonna discuss um, basic material 101 like I told you and the lighting so by watching this tutorial you will gain skills on how to use 3d max studio in um, your um, real you know life and uh, do your own solutions for your own projects and 3d 3ds max studio is a industry leader in 3d that is uh, using by hollywood um, filmmakers uh, 3D effects, uh, video effects makers, and engineers, and etc. And can be applied in any of those industries. And the knowledge of 3D with 3D Max are very, um, I would say, interesting and will put you to another level uh, will, as a graphic designer. Let's say if you are not a 3D artist but graphic designer but would like to use some 3D elements like I did in 2001 when I was learning 3D to combine it with my graphic design skills and knowledge 
Okay, before we're gonna do so, we need to download and um, two textures. We're gonna write PCB texture in the image search. Okay, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, download one of those textures. Um, it's going to be flat. We're looking for the flat texture. And um, I would say something like this will be fine. And uh, what we're going to do, we're just going to uh, save it. This one has the watermark, mm, which is fine. It's just for the tutorial. But however, if you're going to do it for the commercial projects, uh, you cannot use Google. You need to take a shot of your own piece. PCB or buy the stocks. Okay, so we're gonna save this something like this. That's one texture, and then um, and then that's it. So that's what we're gonna do. And um, we're gonna build, start building this memory 3D model. So uh, just open your 3D Max, and um, don't worry, I'm gonna go and discover all the basics. So I'm going to tell every single part. You're not going to get lost. So what we need to do, we need to go to this panel right here and uh, click on Create and then click on Geometry and select the standard primitives. We need to select the box. So um, click on Box and uh, with left mouse of your, of your button you need to draw the box. It's release one side and then the, the deep the depth of the box and here's the box. Next we're gonna go to modify um and uh, it's gonna say box one as a name. We're gonna type memory PCB Okay and so it's going to be the memory PCB which is this guy right here a black one not the sleeve but the black one the the cheap itself so and uh, then we need to plan how many um, segments because we can specify the length segments width on the segments and height segments how many we're looking for where well, we're looking for and the height we're looking for one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm gonna type five and click enter on the height segments. And it's gonna bring me uh those elements but it's not the height in our uh, case because if I'm gonna click right click so those uh, four boxes the cameras called the viewport L right click in the corner over here and um, on the viewport first you need to click on it and then uh, second click and uh, you can uh, change um, the way it's um appears and uh, i'm gonna say i would like to have h faces so i'm gonna see what i'm doing over here so it's a highlight smooth plus h faces that's kind of um if if you're not gonna have this you need to click right click on your if you have the older version of 3d max right click on your viewport and find uh, the viewport and find that um, the way it's rendering smooth highlights plus edge faces something similar to that as you can see it's basically it's not what we're looking for it's just how long uh, how many sides we have over here and um, let's say over here I need one two three one two three I'm looking for three so instead of five I'm gonna type three in here then width I'm gonna type five 
enter that's what we're looking for it's going to be um, this side of the memory right here and as you can see when you work in 3d it's good to have the references images like in 3d like top left and sides but or bottom but we don't have those and by using this tutorial you will realize and understand and sharpen your skills how to build the 3d models when you're not looking to be a precise but you're looking to build the model and using your own graphics and uh, that just based from some sample on the image or in a movie or whatever you saw so that's that's the clue of this tutorial as well to understand how to build your own models whatever you see and analyze in the world bring it to 3d world so um okay and this is the pcb and the uh, lens segments i'm going to be fine with two like so all right after you done so and your object look like so you can rotate in perspective it's always good to rotate in perspective but please do not touch and rotate with the uh, orbit tool when you're clicking on orbit tool you can rotate but do not use the orbit tool in the um, other views viewports and let's say if you're gonna use let's say on the top five frame right here if I'm gonna use as you can see it was the top and then it changed and now it's bad to bring back right click on it and select top okay so try to avoid to rotate your using your orbit on the your those three viewports only because the perspective it's built for rotation and see how the things look like so I'm fine I'm satisfied make sure that your object look just so having those lines like so and um, then on box I'm gonna click right button and I'm gonna say editable poly and what I just did I just create the basic 3d shape into the uh, editable poly which means that uh, I can extrude and basically change the shape of that 3D object. I can apply some geometry to make it more complex geometry. And that's what it stands for. That's what we need to uh, uh, put it in editable poly. And when you select an editable poly over here, there is a plus sign. If you're going to click left button of your mouse on it, it's going to bring you the vertex, edge, border, polygon, and element. And let me go ahead and just show you what it's all about. What is Vertex? Vertex, if you're going to click on it, it's going to bring some dots, as you can see over here. Uh, it brought some dots for us. And uh, Vertex, it's one dot. Like over here, everywhere is dots. Okay? Vertices, it's one more than one dot. So I'm going to say all those blue, it's vertices. Then next, edges. Edges, that's those lines. We just brought those uh, segments. That's called edges in 3D. Okay, then borders. We're going to talk about borders. Polygons. Polygons, that's what we're going to talk about it in our subdivision um, tutorial about vertices and polygons. Polygons is basic um, squares so we, uh, on your model and um, or triangles that's how your 3d model object based from triangles and squares so this is all called polygons okay so you need to convert to editable poly to be able to work with vertices or vertices with ver vertex or vertices which is dots let me go back see like dots or the polygons which is the sides that's what we're looking to uh, in this video tutorial elements it's when you click and the whole object selected the whole that element okay so you got an idea and polygons just a simple squares or triangles in this tutorial we're just going to work with the squares and um, in some other 3d it could be a triangles as well because square can be split into two triangles for complex geometry but we're 